Out beyond the busy streets of Los Angeles lies the high desert plains and hills of the Mojave Desert. This subsection is a mixture of low rocky hills and creosote scrubland, perfect for many a desert creature. The desert was blooming with yellow flowers, making it perfect for an adventure with the admins of the Wild Snakes Education Group. Well, we just caught our first snake of the day. This is a coach whip, and this one actually really shows off why they get that name. You can see how on the tail here, the scales are outlined in black, and it really makes it look like a whip. And that is how why they're named coach whips. So cool to see these guys are super fast. Uh, some of our fastest snakes out here, they hunt by overpowering their prey. Um, they'll take down other snakes as well. They'll even eat a rattlesnake. So cool to see and we'll get some footage of him uh, being released later. Bye bud. Boom. <laughs> Gone. Gone. All right, here's a close-up of the kego I just flipped. If you look at the base of the tail, you can see those little spurs. That means that this is a male gecko. Hopefully, if you've been watching my videos, we've seen quite a number of these. You should know that little trick to identify the gender. All right, head on back. Sometimes they squeak. Not this time. Bye-bye. Now, while I was busy filming flowers, Scotty and Justin caught this amazing desert horn lizard. These small lizards with toad-like bodies have incredible camouflage. But if staying hidden doesn't work, they're one of the few species known to squirt blood from their eyes to evade predators. But I've yet to witness this behavior. Okay, so this is a blue death fanning beetle. It's actually a rough blue, uh, blue death fanning beetle. Um, they feign death, and you can kind of see his antennae and legs starting to come back to life. Here in a second, they'll flip over. There he goes. Oh. And then watch, can you poke him? Just tap him. Oh, oh. let me get two hands. So I can... Let's see if we can get him to feign death again. There he goes. Uh. Wow, that's so cool. You can see this. The pattern on the back, he's kind of got a waxiness to him, which is what gives him his blueness. I have some in my tank, and actually, it's a little bit more humid and they're more black. Yeah, Scotty! Lightning McGee! <laughs> Woo! Yep. Awesome! So this big lizard is a chuckwalla, and they have a really cool defense mechanism, which did not work here because it is living in this trash pile of a house. But when they when they get defensive, they will suck in a lot of air and become, and they'll make themselves really hard to pry out of a rock crevice. So. Uh, you know, we got lucky that he was uh, out on this board and no rock crevice to slip into, but excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent catch. You can see just how fat this guy looks, and that is because he sucked up all that air. He was much skinnier until I picked him up, and he gulped all that air, and now it, you can really kind of feel it in his belly. It's kind of squishy, but <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Oh, he's letting it out now. You can see his belly sucking in. He must feel... Uh, either a little bit more comfortable or just needed another breath. Back home. So another cool fact about that chuckwalla is they're actually plant eaters. And so they get so big just eating flowers like this, mostly annuals as well. So this desert bloom that we're having out here means that there is a lot of food for them to snack on. Well, we know that there's snakes nearby. Look at the size of this shed. This is from a rattlesnake. Look at those big belly bands, those big belly scales. So hopefully we'll find the snake that left this for us. All right, this is kind of neat right there. You can make it out. Am I even framed on it right? It's camouflage. Oh, there it is. This is kind of neat. 
Ouch, that's a little scorpion. We've seen a couple under these boards. Unfortunately, I don't know much about them, so I just let them uh, go back under the board. But there he goes, walking around. All right, one more lizard for the day. This is a desert collared lizard. Uh, kind of not the best footage. It is kind of far away. We're going to try to get closer uh, and catch it, but it is already on to us. So who knows if it'll stick around. Up and close. Whoa. You can really see uh, the colors that come out on these guys. They're not as brightly colored as their cousins uh, in the east, but we still like them out here. Look at those spots. Spots and a long tail, yeah. Yeah, look at that. All that color, nice blue colors. The lighting's not the best for the it's getting phone. getting darker but... after I grabbed it, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, check out this. Beautiful Great Basin Gopher Snake. Uh, we just, uh, well, our group just uh, cruised this on these roads out here, and it is just beautiful. I was not in the car to uh, to see it, but uh, but you know our group saved it for us, and we we got a great look. Really, really beautiful snake. So but there's snakes moving, so we can't stick with it too long. All right, this is pretty amazing. We just cruised up upon a Mojave Desert tortoise. Now these uh, these tortoises are protected, so we actually have to keep quite a distance from them. Uh, they also have a tendency to pee when they're scared, and since we're in the desert, they, uh, they don't get a lot of water. So if they end up peeing, that can be really dangerous for them. Look at the size of this. This is a huge gopher snake. Oh, it is. It's doing a little dance for us now. It's kind of neat. Getting up off the ground. It's going into its python. Oh, whoa! Look at it. Saying, I'm big and tough and stay away from me. like that but we got more snakes to see so we're gonna let this guy just get off the road quickly and move on look at this Whoa. another snake for us this is a glossy snake they are nocturnal and so we, I don't see them that often beautiful now, they get their name from their belly scales. Uh, if we lift them up, we can see that the belly is really shiny, and that's where they get their name from. But nice to see this snake just coming out tonight. Whoa! Look at the size of that! It is huge! I don't like... It must have had a whole family of mice. You can see that it's, you know, all this... It's much thicker in this area. That's where uh, its meal is. So, really cool to see this awesome gopher snake. But we have seen... What is this? The fourth one today? Maybe the fifth one today? It's quite a lot. Just time to get them off the road and on to the next thing. Thick, 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 thick. Let's go. Bye bye, snake. See ya. Well, as we were looking at that glossy snake, our other car found this beautiful king snake. This is a California king snake. They have nice, sort of yellow or white bands to them, and uh, just a beautiful specimen here. But there's more snakes moving, so we better get going. Beautiful snake. This is a Mojave rattlesnake. 
and we just moved him off the road because we don't want a car coming to, to squish him. And there are definitely cars coming. Here's one now. I'm moving a little bit more off the road myself. There it goes. So, cool to see. Yeah. And it's nice, he's not too grumpy either. He's rattling a little bit, but he knows we're not here to do any harm to him. But we gotta go and see more snakes. Woohoo! Look at that! Another snake of the night. This one is another glossy snake. Uh, they have this nice line that goes through the, the face there and these sort of rectangular blotches all down their back. This is another fairly big one. We've seen uh, we've, we've seen some small ones on the channel before, but it's nice to see another one for the night. Ooh, nice. One more Mojave rattlesnake. These are awesome to see, and he is just about to crawl on the road. And this is definitely a busy road. The car just passed by us, too. So we're gonna grab our snake tongs and help him across the road. Woo! Look at that! One more snake for the day. This is a leaf nose snake. And look at its nose. It's got this enlarged rostral scale. It's pointed up a little bit. These are some of my favorite snakes. They're cute. They're small. Here, let me show you exactly how big it is compared to my hand. You know, these are tiny snakes and they're very uh, calm and docile, which is why I like them. Sweet. Check out this leaf nose up close. We have been seeing so many snakes in the last couple hours and it is really exciting. And we don't, we're not really spending a ton of time with each one because the snakes are moving and we've got more to see. But here is a quick look at this. And you know what? This might be the last one. So just in case, let's, I'm gonna do my sign off right here. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field. And maybe we'll see this guy too next time.